hello guys welcome back to my channel so there are two important discussions that you need to have with your man that is your Nigerian man if you are about to get married it may seem like nothing to you but the little it is very very important to a Nigerian man not only to him to his family to his tradition and one of those discussions that I am talking about children mm. yes I will tell you why I have said this so you see I have seen lots of movies yes I've not lived in the US before in the UK I have seen lots of movies where women would say I do not want children or we do not want children or I don't want to have a child I would prefer to adopt a child you know anything you say all I know is you not wanting to have children that's in totality what I'm trying to say if you have anything in mind concerning bearing children then please I beg you discuss this with your Nigerian man because Nigerians in general they value children a lot one important thing for you as a married couple is to have children and a Nigerian man is not that man to not want to have children children is what makes up family and if you've been watching my videos you know how I talk about family we are so family conscious we have families we build families we have large families not just immediate families cousins relatives grandparents like even far like two generations away we still keep them close so in essence what i'm saying is if you have the intention of not bearing children that is you know assuming it is your decision that you do not want to have children this is a very important discussion that you would need to have with your nigerian man except in some cases you know some cases whereby maybe the woman is not able to conceive to conceive like naturally and these things actually it really puts pressure on the marriage i'm telling you oh lord what the couple go through even the woman sometimes you know people would usually see so many negative crazy crazy things about the about their marriage about kids about her sometimes you know this women you know when you have not given birth you start to feel sad because of the eyes that in Nigerian society and their families would actually look at you some families go the extra miles yeah they go the extra mile to push their sons into getting married to someone else for the sake of children so what am i saying in essence yes what i'm saying is if you are getting married to a nigerian man and you already are someone i know definitely that a nigerian will not think this a nigerian will not do this because of course we know already our tradition we know already that there is no marriage without children in nigeria the only exceptions are those who are still waiting on the lord to bless them with kids it's not their own doing but it's just that they are waiting on the lord those are the only exceptions you will find there is no woman deciding or having it as her own decision to avoid bearing children that is why if I watch like uh, some movies foreign movies and I see women say you know what I don't want to have children I don't want to spoil my shape I don't want to lose my I don't want to lose my days I don't want to lose that girl sorry you don't have that option not with a Nigerian man in fact 
the moment he gets married to you on your wedding in nine months time who will come visiting with a boy and girl and a page man in fact the whole song is a beautiful song it's talking about getting married you go into your husband's house a beautiful lady who's getting married you go well and everything and that in one time we'll come to visit our families with twin babies with twin babies girl <laughs> he's already thinking twin babies he's not thinking one so look I'm not trying to like, you know, talk so much about this. But the thing is, if you are marrying a Nigerian man, have it in mind. The moment you get married, everyone is waiting on you. Your mom is waiting on you. His mom is waiting on you. His family is waiting on you. Their family is waiting on you. If you don't believe me, ask me and I will tell you. It's true. I've been married five years. My baby's two years old only. Not for the sake of anything, but we're not together. And it took time when we got together, planned our lives and everything. And in those years, I knew how many times my mom called me and said to me, hey, she called my Igbo name, she said, Mwamaka, what's happening in, in our language? What's happening? Are you okay? Are you fine? Is it your decision that the baby is not yet here? Is it just your decision or is something wrong? Have you tried? I'm like, hey, mommy, relax. Just slow down. Mommy, slow down. It's our decision. Don't worry. We're still planning on our lives. When it's time, just don't worry. Once we're ready. She's like, ah, you know, I'm just gonna like, let me know because like, I'm so worried. I'm like, mommy, don't get worried. Just relax. That's what I'm talking about. Relax. Not only me. I know. <laughs> but I've heard his mom call to ask him. Nah, get it? It's happening. It's been three years get since that. you people got married. But what is happening? So ladies, this is why I'm telling you. <laughs> If you are the one who's deciding, let's not really rub on this so much. Do not decide at all. You're gonna have a baby. It's not a, I don't wanna have a baby thing. It's not a question. It's not a question. It is a necessity. It is compulsory. Okay, ladies, have this in mind. You must have a baby. The only thing is, if maybe you do not have a baby like in time, say maybe waiting on the Lord and maybe an uh, infertility issue and you're working on it, it's understood, you understand. But not a decision of, I do not want children. No way, girls. <laughs> no, it's not going to happen. And then the next thing that you want to discuss with your man is, before I say this, I will tell you the reason why I added it to my list. Because I was only going to talk about children and then I added it. And I added it because of my previous videos and I have seen how people react to this same issue. You have to have your future plans discussed. If you are marrying a Nigerian man, it is not easy to get married. It is not also easy to live with any person. Even getting married to someone else is a big decision. Mm -hmm. And when you and take that decision, decision, you also go yeah. ahead to open up your heart yeah. to decide. Yeah. So you must discuss the future plans. Yeah. Ask the person. Yeah. Ask him, have you come to stay? Yeah. Have you come to stay forever? Or have you come to work? Do you plan on going back to your country? Do you not plan on going back to your country ever? So after bearing children, and when children are grown, and you are retired, and I am retired, what is our future plans? What will we do? Where will we live? Where will we stay? So that this doesn't cause an issue, you know? I'm trying to, to change this thing of men getting married. And feeling unsafe when they are married to foreign wives because of the fear of later coming back home alone and 
having a lonely old age. You have to discuss this. So also, so that it doesn't push him to go marry someone else because he's scared. You understand? Because this is a man who left his home to come to a foreign country to seek for greener pasture, right? While he's seeking for greener pastures, he met someone, he falls in love, he gets married to that person. There should be an agreement that is agreeable to both of you so that in the future, you were together. You know, with this assurance, I think men will stop being afraid and thinking of the unknown and decide, not all men, for those few men who do it, and decide never to maybe look for anyone back home. Because from what the lady who discussed with me told me, she said, you know, they always go back home to get married. I'm like, no, they don't do that. I know a lot of people who didn't do that. She said, but they do trust me. And I am saying, I thought about it and I was like, it's the fear of unknown. Because I also know, sweetie, see that. I also know of people who have come back home after 30 something years of their lives without anybody. So, my dears, without taking so much of your time, these are the two discussions that you should discuss with your Nigerian man. Simply from me, my yeah. malicious, to you, my ladies. You know how I always say, to have a lovely day, to have a happy day. Stay happy, stay blessed, and bye-bye.